All right, welcome back to another model video. Now today we're actually gonna be doing something a little bit different than painting a miniature. We're actually gonna be doing a little bit of an unboxing. Now, in case things look a little bit more different here, I actually also did get a new webcam. We got ourselves a Dispec 4K webcam. So hopefully this should make the videos a little smoother to see. One thing that I really like about it is it comes with a remote with an adjustable zoom and autofocus. So hopefully when I try to do a zoom in on a miniature, you'll actually be able to see the details of what I'm painting instead of the blurry mess that I was having with my Logitech C9, C930. But enough on webcams. So we're actually, so unboxing. Now, a little bit of background history first. Uh, during 2022, 2023, um, I had a bit of a Kickstarter addiction. Basically, if you did a D&D &D Kickstarter, I probably backed it. And I backed this one from Dragons and Lasers. The world of Dieseler? Dusslayer? Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Or dun Dungeons and Lasers. Sorry, if I said Dragons and Lasers, then I'm, I'm mistaken. Dungeons and Lasers. Yeah. Over 5,700 backers. 2,580% funded. And yeah. And, uh... After doing a little vacation, I came back today and found this. Yeah. So we're going to go through that whole thing and we're going to be checking it out. Now, I only opened the box just to make sure that there was no visible damage or any major issues with anything. Not that I could tell. Ooh, let me just fix that slightly. And autofocus, please. There we go. That's better. So, yeah. So, let's pull her over and start pulling stuff out. I, to be honest, I kind of forgot what I backed. Um, yeah. I, I do not remember. Oh, yes, I have received my rewards. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just get to unboxing. Now, I'm not going to be opening these in any particular order. So, right here. Let's get out of the, the glare of the light there. So... Good thing is they at least mark all their boxes. So let's start cracking open a box here. So where'd my knife go? Eh, let's use a different knife this time. I know they had a lot of stretch goals with this project. And I think they basically blew up all of them out of the water. So there's lots of boxes there. And I think I did get one of their add-ons as well. So yeah. So this set includes Stone Wards, Paladins of Order. Sorry, it's kind of hard to read this upside down. Oh, it's probably better. I just read it on my screen. Uh, Devoters, members, Mage Smith Apprentice, Dark Lupin, Royal Guards, and another group of members. Now, one actually, the one of the really cool things about this set that I have not had with any of my other sets is a you have to assemble the miniatures yourselves. So inside, they should all be be still connected to their sprues and all their plastic bits, and I'll just have to get some clippers and cut them apart. But certain models can actually be changed. Anything that's go that's yellow in this particular picture 
you can take it off. So it's, you want to switch his weapon? Sure. You want to switch his helmet? Sure. And you get a whole bunch of pieces that you can interchange it with. Kind of like Warhammer minis. Well, let's see. What do we got? Oh, Lord. A oh, couple loose pieces of plastic. Not sure what those are. Probably just a, a sprue there. But oh, boy. Oh, boy. What? What? What what did I get here? Now, painting miniatures is one thing. Building them is a completely separate thing. I have never done it, but hey, I guess it's always a good time to learn. Yeah, just weird. We got like masks body gauntlet spear whoa just looking at the detail is really really good and good thing it's coming up really well on the camera too man Lion head there. Capes, axes. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Some heads. My, my, my. This guy's only like half a completely got like the backside of his torso and a single leg. I wonder what the other, I'm guessing the, the other part, the leg is. Oh, there. Okay, so that must be the back. That must be the front. Um, an arm. Probably can combine it with any of these heads. Wow. Wow. That is... That is a lot there. Oh, okay, this one we're getting um, those stone wardens, which I'm guessing are like this game's version of like an earth elemental. Wow. Now, one thing I'm going to wonder, are there instructions? I don't see any. Maybe it's in another box. Because this was box, I think, two of three we've opened. Yeah. So maybe the instructions are in one of the other boxes. Because ideally, you're supposed to get all the core boxes together. So I think it's basically two sets. I think the first two were the same. The next two are the same. The next two are the same. So we might be looking at a, quite a few duplicates here. But each box, or this box contained four. Four of every miniature there. So I'm assuming it's probably two sets of miniatures per spruce. Or like these two pieces together or combine them and you get two whole miniatures or four miniatures out of all of them, I think. I'm guessing that's how it works. Man, that that is a lot of plastic and they actually feel... Like, they don't feel flimsy. you got pretty good thickness on that. I didn't bring my calipers with me, which probably would have been nice. But no, the detail looks really good, and they feel strong. Hmm. Well, we're not going to go too crazy on these. We're going to just put everything back, and we're going to move on to another box. Because uh, we have a lot of boxes to go through. Two in at a time. Now, one thing I will say that's actually really good about this particular Kickstarter in comparison to some of the other ones I've done, because I've done the Dungeons of Drakenheim Kickstarter, I've done the um, 
Oh man, why am I suddenly drawing a blank on this? Sorry, it's been a long day, so I'm sorry if I feel if I'm seeming a little tired because I kind of am. Stormlight miniatures. There we go. Um, I've also done Aurora, Age of Desolation, Sunken Isles, the Black uh, the Blacklist miniature fantasy series. There's a whole story with that one, but I'm not going to get into that on this in this video. That's a whole story. Please. Come on, you fit in the box. You got here. You fit in the box. Okay. This is going to be a... Oh, that's, that's probably my problem. hit too hard because I don't want to break something off. Okay, you know what? We're just going to put that one aside. We'll try and rebox it later. Oh, let's grab another, let's grab another corset. Corset one of three. And this one, okay, this one we get a bunch of one-off miniatures. Oh, sorry. I have a light right underneath my camera, which is illuminating this. And unfortunately, with the shiny plastic, it's uh, kind of hard to see. There, okay, that's good. Neither Woodhaven nor the Land of Giants exists in a vacuum. Take steps into the world of Dusslayer. Explore its expansive land while utilizing detailed miniatures to unleash your imagination. Apostle of Fire, Bringer of Harmony, Corrupt Knight, Hand of Ishlu, Knight of Fae, Princess Kurabo, Elder Krill, Rasher. Whew, there's a, that is a lot. Okay, so there's, or that one you get two. Those ones you get four. Chaos Orc Slaves. Huh. Well, let's just crack her open and see how they look. Now, I again, I also backed I backed the Kickstarter on these. These will probably be for sale separately. That would make logical sense. All right, yeah, just like the last one. So yeah, I'm guessing all of the miniatures, which again, there's nothing wrong with having to build them yourselves. So I'm going to try and go through these a little quicker than I did before. Yeah, yeah. So these two are the same. Whoa. That is. That sure is something. Oh, that one's not the same. Hmm. So I'm guessing that, pro so, well, I've seen miniature construction in a few different ways. Usually it's you get two build plates, you sandwich them together, and then you inject the plastic in. That's usually how you construct them. I've seen people use 3D printers. Yeah, they're good for, like, one-offs, but if you need to do something in large quantity quickly, this is usually the way to go. What else we got? Definitely have to talk to my friend Rob, who's been doing miniature building and painting for far longer than I have. I'm definitely going to have to show him these. Ooh, there's a little bit of like wetting. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's nothing. Man, 
sure is a lot here. Oops. Let's try and pack this up in a way that it easily fits back into the box. Okay, that one went in much easier. Okay, and let's get our last core box. And on the back side here. Crystal Dragon Dracon Dragonoid Dwarven Champion. Chaos Trooper, Krill. <laughs> well, now I'm hearing something rattle around in here, which that's not a good sign. It's probably just more like, leftovers like this. Yeah, yeah, I'm guessing that's just cast off or leftover material. All right, so now we actually have some bases. Those are actually some nice looking bases. Stone, stone, or stone with a skeleton. Tile, grassland. Maybe the deck of a ship. I don't know, I'd say the deck of a ship. Scorpion. Oh, those look those look really good. Okay, that one's same as the other one. Same as the other one. Same as the other one. All right, here we go. Nice looking sword. Are you the same? Yes, you are the same. Nice wings. Like, you can just kind of see the detail there on the feathers. Wow, a lot of, a lot of care went into these guys, which is really nice. Well, that's the same as the last one. Oh, okay, so we got a whole bunch of heads. Whole bunch of arms. Yeah, same as the last one. All right. Now, let's see if we can get these guys back in the box, although this pile is tilting a little bit. hope that's not going to be an issue. There we go. Yep, that one went in just fine. Now, I think I saw extra bases. Yep. Yep, three more sets. These ones were just on their own. So those didn't come in a box. That's totally fine. Uh, let's try this. Stretch goal. Part three of three contains clear plastic models. Ooh. Get them before Roblin the Goblin. Queen of Winter, Banshees, Brain Squid. Robin the Goblin. 
Mimic Clock. Whole bunch of weapon racks, too. <laughs> Murderous Cube. Because I'm guessing the word gelatinous is probably copyrighted. All right, well, let's crack her open. Sorry if my camera does go a little out of focus at times. I do have autofocus on. I know most of the time you should probably disable autofocus. But hey, again, this is a new camera. We're still, we're still working out the bugs a little. Although I can still tell it to, nope, that's zoom. I want focus. Weird. There we go. <laughs> now, oh, some more bases. Now, the, uh, these bases are all different, all more nature themed jungle, swamp. Same as before. Okay. Very nice. I'm just wondering, you probably could put something in between there, like a head of some kind. Very nice looking. Looks like some mechanical. Oh, yeah, probably this guy. And ooh, the transparent one. Now, this one definitely has a much different, like, texture. And this must be, yeah, this is the weapon pack. This is probably the one that's probably going to be the easiest. Because you don't actually have to assemble anything. Very, very nice. I'm very impressed so far. Now, I'm sure you're probably thinking, well, what? When am I going to start painting these? Or when am I going to start building these? Uh, good question. So anyway, let's grab the next box. Scene Thunder. Oh yeah, this was one of the add-ons I added. And I think I added it because... I think there was like a... There was one I saw here that looked really good. And I kind of got it just for that. Um, I don't see the one I was thinking. Oh, the I think it was the Water Beast Summoner. That one looked really cool. Yeah. With airships, cannons, brute mercenaries, and tamed beasts, these rascals roam this. Scar Guardians, Acapelago. Plunging riches from unsuspected merchant ships. They dare challenge even the mightiest of vessels in both the sea and in the skies. You know, actually, these this miniature set would actually probably be really good with the Sunken Isles uh, campaign. That's another one I backed on Kickstarter. That one, some of them I just got the books. Some of them I got the whole thing. Wait, let's cut this one open and find out. Oop. I'm assuming that's probably just left over from something else. We're just going to put all these little pieces. I actually heard you should not throw these pieces out. There are uses you can have with the leftover plastic. Only throw it out once you are fully done constructing your miniatures. 
Like, I think you can get a type of glue that kind of melts it, or melts the leftover plastic, and you can use that as, like, a bonding agent in case you're having difficulty keeping a miniature together. Or if one miniature broke, you can kind of glue them back together like that. So I'm guessing that is all right. Hmm. Oh yeah, same as any other one. Yeah, feel free to pause if you want to take a closer look at any miniature or any piece individually. Again, we're just about halfway through the box, and this video is almost half an hour long, so I'll try and speed it up a little more. Oh boy, we got lots of bits here. It's a nut. I look like a cargo net, but it's got a shield on one side. But again, the detail on like the netting or the chain mail, whatever that is. That looks really, really good. Oh, there's some netting. Yeah, that that must have been a royal pain in the butt to print out. Or to inject mold. And again, that looks really, really good. Some tentacles. Oh, same as the other one. Wings. Oh, more netting. Again, that that looks really, really good. Oh, so, oh, there's our free first thing that has broken. This guy already came off. Hmm. Where did you come from? Don't you know, but we'll put you aside. We'll see if we can find where you came from. Yep, same as the last one. And some bases. This looks like the same bases as the first pack. Yeah, because we had the same skeleton. Yeah, these bases are the same. Now, where did you come from? Hmm. Well, we'll just try and like nestle him in something larger when we rebox this. better at boxing these up now. Right, next we got Oh there. Let's check out this one. Flying pirate airship. Part of their super stretch goals. So this is basically just one extra large mini. Embark on a whimsical and daring journey as you dwell into the boundless realms of flying ship design. Created by ingenious pirates that dance on the edge of madness. <laughs> Build extraordinary vessels crafted in unfailing creativity. Each sail and structure are a testament to their wild imagination. Join the adventure and witness the soaring spectacle of their unconventional designs that either that defy reason and redefine the skies. So 
So anyway, so what I was saying about before, when will I get to painting these? When will I get to assembling them? Unfortunately, these guys will probably be rather low on my scale because I still have a whole bunch of, um, I don't know, a whole bunch of the other ones I'm still working on. What I'll probably do, instead of trying to do like one full comp set first, I'll probably go through like a dozen of one st from one company and then a dozen from another company and then another dozen from another group and try and mix it up around. That'll probably be best. But these guys, since these are the newest ones I've gotten, will probably sit the longest since I've had several other boxes over there. I'm looking at my, uh, co my, uh, I think they call it your, uh, your pile of shame, they say in the Warhammer community. Yeah, there's some stuff there that's been there since uh, the begin, like before COVID. So we probably got to get to that first. Anyway, so we got cannons, propellers, balloons. Same thing. The deck. Oh, here we go. So this must make up the side panels, the front, top. If I'm probably going to build one, this is probably the first one I would probably build because at least it's the biggest pieces and ideally should be the easiest. In my opinion, I'm probably going to be horribly wrong when I say that, but hey, oh, we got a prisoner kind of just hanging out. I think he's missing a foot. I guess I think that's intentional. I don't think that's an accident. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Very, very good looking. Oh, and one thing that I got left in the bottom of the box, a transparent base. So once you have it all built, and oh, there's something else in here. Oh, yeah, something broke off. That looks like a piece of chain. I didn't see anything broken there, but we'll make sure we toss that back inside. My side table that I was piling all this on is uh, already getting full. So we're gonna start putting some of this back into the box, just so we have space to move. Oh, another stretch goal one. Get the, get them, Robin. When traveling the vast lands, Robin's allies himself with the kobolds. They, aren't they the same size? What are the were assassins drawn by an enchanted beauty of the ancient dryad finds themselves ambushed in, by a swamp warriors and golems during their journey Encounter the ogre, the mad goblin scientist that has no that knows a doppelganger and the gamic prophecy of chaos, but that's just the beginning. Man, that sounds a whew. very interesting. Well let's crack her open.
That's a very big sword. Goblin scientist. Now, it said one of them had a swappable head. I'm guessing there's one of the heads. Looks like a cannon. Wow, that's a lot of big pieces. Yep, I think that's the same as the other one. Wow. Very, very interesting. Something square fits in there. Probably that. All right. Three boxes left. We've passed the halfway point. Let's let's keep going. Interesting. Very interesting. Me swamp. Robin the Goblin. Kraken Tentacles. <laughs> Very nice looking. Very nice. Another piece of leftover flat sprue there. What is that? Is that supposed to be a bear? Oh boy, bear cavalry. Kraken tentacles. Lions. Man. Sure is a lot here. Very nice. All right. Toss them back in. Oh, I think here... Oh, I forgot. I didn't even see this. Dear Backer, a long-awaited world of Dunsler is finally opening its doors before you. The truth is... The truth is, with the 5th edition dragons and lasers, we've set on land new to us. For the first time, we've decided to launch a strictly miniature-focused crowdfunding campaign, and judging by the results, it seems like we succeeded. However, this wouldn't be have been possible without you and your support. Once again, a huge number of people, nearly 6,000 backers. 
place their trust in us. And thanks to you, we managed to unlock incredible stretch goals, create a brand new world, and allowed us to design a multitude of durable and detailed rich miniatures. Yes, very much so. This campaign has shown us that, ooh, that's weird. My light decided to randomly go out. Huh. That's weird. Oh, luckily, it wasn't at doing too, too much, but I can still fix that. Oh, no, I need my USB-C cable. Oh. oh, well. I think we are... Oh, okay. Unless it just decided to turn itself off, but battery's probably not going great. Ah, this campaign has shown us that, that by combining the power of crowdfunding and a fantastic community, great and exciting things can happen. It's also a excellent opportunity for us to provide to provide ourselves in this field. Probably better if I just flip it around so you can actually read it yourselves, because I'm sure a lot of you could probably read this a lot faster and a lot easier than I can. We look forward to seeing you in the, in the next campaign. Caves! With that, this project, where we're going to introduce the innovative technologies to you, which means that you will be able to choose from both pre-painted and unpainted plastic terrain. Sounds cool, huh? Follow up now and receive a free gelatinous cube later with your pledge. See you on GameFound. Hmm. Nice looking poster. Okay, so what else do we got here? Come on, light. Oh, world map. Okay, I'm guessing my light's battery is probably dying. Hmm. Here we go. That's the cable I want. There we go. And this... Still, I don't see any instructions on how to build these. Unless this is it. No, this must be more about, yeah, about their, about their next campaign. There we go. There. If the light goes out one more time, then I'll just leave it. Yeah. So now they're going to be coming out with a new campaign for terrain. If you're impressed with what you see here, then maybe perhaps consider looking up that Kickstarter. Um, at the time of recording, it is March 1st, 2024. I don't know when that campaign is coming out. It's probably going to come out maybe within the next month or two. That would make logical sense. But yeah, we got two boxes left. Another super stretch goal. Queen, Lord, and Monstrosities. Oh boy. Now these would probably come real in handy in Dungeons, and, in, uh, Dungeons of Drakenheim. Giant Kraken, Mimic Dragon. That sounds terrifying. The Undying Queen. Devourer of Sanity. Witness the ominous approach of the Undying Queen and a soul harvester flanked by a coalition of colossal and otherworldly creatures. A Kraken. The include elusive mimic dragon, the ferocity wolf for Frank, and the mind bending devourer of sanity. Prepare for a spine chilling journey into the unknown places of Dunslar.
That looks creepy. Even like this really smooth part here, this is very smooth plastic. I wonder if they did any like after work, after their molding, or did they just inject it, pop it out, send it out down, further down the line? They probably did. It probably cost them too much money to go back and redo a bunch of these. Now, madam, where are your legs? Well, I guess that's probably like the back of her head. Whoa. Holy Murphy, look at all that. Very interesting. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's also creepy. All right, now. How am I going to get all these guys back into this box? I have no idea how. That one, we'll, we'll figure this one out later. We still got one box left. Box one of three of Super Stretch Goals. John O, the Dragon Turtle, another Mimic Dragon, Adult Fireworm. All right, well, let's crack this one open. We are almost 50 minutes in. Let's try and not make this video an hour long. Again, the only thing I'm still not, I still haven't seen are any kind of instructions. Now, unless like it's one of those, like it's so simple, it's stupid. Still don't see any instructions at all. Yeah, the dragon turtle back. Tail. Maybe the stomach. Ship parts. Said that I think that was optional. Base. Bunch of smaller, finer details. Very, very nice looking. So, yeah, um, I wasn't really keeping count of how many miniatures total this all was. Uh, too many is probably the correct answer. Oh, okay, I was able to get that one in, no problem. 
Whew. But yeah, that. That is a lot of miniature. That sure is a lot of miniature. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this un unboxing. Uh, quality wise, these minis are probably probably the nicest ones I have. Like nine, maybe ten. Again, the only thing I don't see are any kind of instructions. That's weird. Now I'm hoping it's probably just a matter of you cut them, cut it out of the sprue, and then the the other half is on the other side. And you just pop it together. All you need for one or two minis should be on just one pack of sprues. I'm hoping it's that simple. I'm hoping it's that easy. I'll have to talk to my friend about it because again, he builds the minis. I usually just paint them, and I've just recently started doing that. But yeah. So that is the world of Dunslar Dunslayer. God, I know I'm mispronouncing that. I'm sorry. I uh I may be an adult, but I can barely read. But yeah, from, from so from the Dungeons and Lasers Kickstarter. Um if you're interested, look into their next campaign, uh Dun or Dungeons and Lasers Caves. Which I'm hoping, which will probably be coming out within the next couple months, at the time of recording. Uh, yeah, uh, I will continue painting my other miniatures. I'll probably maybe crack into a couple of these just to see how well it is. But we're gonna see if we can get some more miniature painting coming out. I do have one that's already recorded. I just need to uh, look it over before publishing it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for uh, tuning in, seeing what you can get if you had back to this. And if you're maybe interested in looking at their, at their products in the future, I am not sponsored at all with this. I pay, bought into this Kickstarter myself. I just wanted to open it up and see how it looked and show everybody else. But yeah, so that'll be pretty much it for today. You all take care now. I'll see you next time.